Hey there. No, I don't wear makeup to bed. I mean, my nails are still painted and stuff, but... Man, what a, what a huge, huge weight off my shoulders. What a huge, huge weight off my shoulders. And I had a talk with my mother a little earlier. I woke up with my stomach growling, so I went and grabbed something to eat, and then I'm going back to bed for a little bit, but... Um... My mother's attitude about feminine men has been one of the major things that has... For all these years has made me try to go for the sort of hyper-masculine thing. You know. She may have been accepting of me being gay, but she had made it pretty clear that she wouldn't be very accepting of me if I was feminine. She, uh, ever since I came out when I was 17, she's, she's said here and there that, uh, well, if I ever turn out queeny, really feminine, that she'd beat the crap out of me. So, you know, I, I just kind of went on this kick of trying to research, you know, what is masculine? And how can I be that way? I just made it a major thing. You know, and anything that isn't masculine, well, let's shun that in myself. It's kind of odd um, how I look back at just how much I would surround myself with people who would judge me if I w was feminine. Or who I perceive would judge me negatively if, if I was feminine. And it kind of makes me able to relate with Nadia Chambers a little bit in, because that's kind of what she does to herself, but for the opposite reasons. Nadia would surround herself with people who she thinks would judge her for not being feminine enough. It's kind of odd um, what we do to ourselves what people do to themselves, how much we can beat ourselves up over perceived things that are just bullshit, you know? As I said in my last video, um, making these changes is is just about the best thing I've, I've ever done for myself. You know, this morning, I mean, when I, when I first woke up, I was just thinking about how I... I've gotten so much support. I've gotten so much support, and there was part of me that was just feeling, I don't deserve this support. I was crying. A lot of it thinking to myself, you know, the, the way that I've thought of others for so long, the way that these, these standards that I put on myself and, quite frankly, some other people, about femininity, even though I may not have ever said it out loud, 
You know, I still would be... But I hinted it a bit out loud, so... You could, if you read, read between the lines in some of my videos, you could see it, but... I just felt that because I felt this way for so long that I... that I didn't deserve support. But I got it anyway, and I got, I've got i gotten it in spades, and I just... Thank you. Thank you all. I just, I, I wasn't expecting this. I said so many things that I was scared of. I, I've come to realize I had no reason to fear. In actuality, I was my own worst enemy. I'm just really tripping on this. There's just... It's kind of weird. It's just like it's become something... Well, what reason do I have to be angry? I, I was... I've, I've been so angry with myself for so long. And it's weird to have this calmness, this almost a silence in my head. It's, it's such a different feeling. I mean, I, I already had a major change you know, in December when I was in Eureka and learned what I'd learned there. This is just huge. Just what an amazing turn of events since August of 2013. What, what an amazing turn of events for me. Internally, anyway. I don't know, I just, I guess I never thought this was possible. I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy now. I just can't believe the differences.